Hi everyone, I'm here to talk about a coach named John Gruden. When he was around back in 1998, I fell in love with John. Well, he, he's a great coach. I remember back in the old days, the Raiders of the old school brand, the old school franchise, and John Gruden was an old, old, old school coach from, from 1990s. Uh, and it was a good fit, actually. And up to 98, when he first came to the Raiders, I got excited, and I... Follow through him through those tough years and good years. From 1998 all the way to 2001. And what I see in him, is he, he inspired me with a lot of things. I am a best Olympian. I have medals. I can show you what I really, really am. I'm desperate here. So, I have a lot of things, like, well, a lot of things. Oh, and I got this, just in six, um, at a time. And, um, it was called, uh, this. It's called, look at that. Oakland Raiders Golf Classic. That was through Best Olympics. I'll show you closely. Oh, it's kind of hard to see, but look. See this? Where is? That's right. Golf Classic. And, and it was a look of partners with them. No, it's it, it, it say that's right, best Olympics. And I knew I was a good fit for the Raiders. And when I was growing up, my favorite coach of all time is John Gruden. I miss him a lot. I'm glad he's back. Now, I respect all the coaches, I, res I respect all of. I expect all the coaches, but John Green is your holy grail. He's going to put it all together, and I lived it. Since 1998, I have faith in John. He, he's one who buys the right players, and he's because he knows how to win. Winners are learning how to win in a over the years. But John Gruden, he is a perfect teacher for the Oakland Raiders. I know that was the right choice of Al Davis to I mean, Al Davis take him in to the Raiders organization since 1998, and I'm proud of what he did. And actually, I know how it always began because it became Packers and all. But I'm not going to go that far in the details. But I do know this. I respect John. He's the one who makes all the tough decisions. He loves his team. And he's passionate about his players, his teammates, and also passionate about football. Me, I'm a Olympian. I'm also a big fan of the Oakland Raiders. I understand the game. And I was in, and I was in, I was going to boss with me we not in person, no. But I but I grew up watching John to see and he put it all together when I was there and I and I lived it. And I'm proud to be a better fan. That's who I am. Always have, always was. Uh, and actually, a wonderful job going to put it all together. 
Like it might be Manny Yates. All these pe all these players. You see all these players? They had a shot. No, well, not really, but I remember one being back in nineteen sixty seven. Uh, when we got a quarterback named Ken Stabler, who number number twelve, the great one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, who ever won the Super Bowl. When he was working in the in the in the in the beginning in nineteen seventy, oh, I want to take a look at this closely. Now, see this picture I have here. Look at in the front. That's right. Name is Ken Stabler. Let me tell you something. Learning how to win. The ways of learning how to win. Can Stable and John Man when, when you were around back then, man, before, before my time. I miss it, I miss the glory days. But my dad lived it. And and he tell me about Can Stable. I'm proud to have a father who's also a weather fan. Like his team and the players and the coaches. That's great. Same thing with me. It was my blood. No, I don't know clue how it all happened, but it, it happened. And speaking of that, I'm spreading the word to all the entire organization in the Oakland Winds right now. Is I do respect the policies. I respect back to rules. I know I know both of you I'm familiar talking about it. Hey, you know, I'm I'm best Olympian who has who has down syndrome living in the in the Bay Area. You know, I know, I don't know all the rules but I know some. Okay. But although I respect the readers what and and I do respect the legacy that involves through a man well I don't want to say it but you know, everybody knows that's right Al Davis he built this franchise since, since 1963 if one of Al Davis he made it seem possible this is his dream and he lived it he died in vain. And believing in that. Learning how to win was the first step. And they can't stay blue. He was the first quarterback who ever won a Super Bowl for Oakland. Now, I know everybody hates him but all the LA and from from Oakland to LA, from LA back to Oakland, man of moving, man of moving the Raiders to Las Vegas. Okay? But you know what? I do respect the Raiders. I know everybody's not a Raider fan out there. I know people with not Raider fans, but because of the history and all. But I do respect the legacy. The legacy never dies, and I promise. He's the one who put him John Gruden in 1998. The symbol better stands in L.A. There are family in, in L.A. But I mean, it's the same with me, because I'm in the media. But I do respect all the waiters. And what it stands for. And I know you get great coaches, you get great players, you can get great coaches, great organization, and you tell them one thing. Just win baby. I know Ice Cube talked to him, but that was a long time ago. But uh I know I Al Davis wanted. He wanted a, a coach who could teach the Raiders to will to win. And Don Gruden is that. And I believe in Don since his debut in 1998. That's the one I like the most. Yeah, he did help with Scannon. 
be the MVP compatible. But now his prime is done. I'll do respect for the love of respect with with Gannon, no offense. But I do but there's a young quarterback out there who played for the Commanders. A quarterback with the name is Derek Carr. Derek Carr is a quarterback that everybody can love. Big guy from Federal State Bulldog. Like his brother David Carr used to be one of the best quarterbacks who ever lived. And his younger brother Derek Carr, those guys are in the same broad line of an uncle who played for the Raiders. And now John Gruden is the one who teaches Derek Carr to be, to, to be the one I have faith in Carr and I have faith in John. That's all you have to do now. That's all you have to believe. I know all the other fans out there don't believe in that, but I do. I'm passionate and loyal, emotional, personal, let be an athlete who who believes in the, in the closed days of the Raiders. Can I say, to the Raiders to Super Bowl 1, Super Bowl 11? Before my time. No, I, I was born after the closed days. I didn't have that ability uh, to see it. But, but my dad did. He lived it. And he tell me a great story about Ken Stabler. And I'm proud that we are part of the real family. And you know what? I was back all the closest communities. I'm mad at the famous because I was mad at games I have. I have. 2003, Madden, 1993, Madden, 2005, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, but I'm in now, I mean, first of all, I'm going to get to you later, later on, but I do respect all the winners. I hope you understand. I know I have down I know I have heart, but I really, I really, really want to give my respect to John Quinn. He's the one who put, put this together. He's the one who brought in Charles Wilson to make the foundation. They were started since 1998. I'm proud to be a waiter. Remember that. Thank you, John. You made me a you made me a better fan today. Thank you. Bye.